you endorsed the former president for 2024. He is the presumptive GOP nominee. KFYR is reporting that North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer said the former president speaks very highly of you and you could be on the VP shortlist. What do you make of that news? Could you see yourself as the vice president? Well, I think uh, President Trump, uh, he, the policies that he has is when he was in office, the world was safer and the United States was more prosperous. And now under you know Joe Biden's weakness, we've got wars breaking out all over the world. And we know that the inflation under Joe Biden is is choking every American, whether it's uh, food on the table or gas in your car, or the rent you pay. Uh, our economy has really taken a hit with uh, the uncontrolled spending. And now they want to you know, add almost five trillion dollars of additional taxes on top of that so it's a very clear very clear choice uh, i think in terms of the quality and the kind of people that are going to want to serve in a trump administration president trump's going to have his his pick he'll make his choice for vice president at the time of his choosing he'll make a, he'll have a, a load of people that want to serve in this administration with cabinet leaders and other, other levels and the interest level's never been higher i think this is a second trump administration now will be very different from the first one uh, in part because the people will understand that there's an opportunity here to really take uh, America in the right direction. I think that he's going to have an enormous amount of talent from the private sector wanting to work for him in the next administration. And I think that's great for our country. What I'm hearing from you is you're not shutting the door on potentially being a vice presidential pick. What about a cabinet position? Would you want to serve in the Trump administration in any capacity? Well, I, I would say when when we ran, decided to run for president last year, it was because we cared about three things, the economy, energy, and national security. Those are the big issues. And like I said, you know, we're gonna wanna serve whether private sector, public sector in an area where we have the most impact. Uh, but it wasn't, wasn't why I ran for president. It's not why I'm supporting President Trump right now. It's not about a position for me. It's about what's right for the country. That's the way we've always approached it. And that's the way we're approaching it now, which is, is uh, this really matters. And I just have to tell anybody who's listening uh, this isn't about politics. As a governor, you know, in a state where our economy depends on the, you know, on energy, agriculture, national security, we're a big border state. Uh, it's absolutely clear what my my job. I had the same job. I was a governor under Trump. I was a governor under Biden. But my job changed completely because now the state of North Dakota, like many other states, we just have to keep pushing back on the overreach of the federal government. The states created the federal government, not the other way around. And the federal government is stepping into so many areas of regulation that belong at the state or local level. And this is raising the cost, part of the contributors, raising the cost of every product for every citizen buys. And it's part of the why we've had such high inflation. And I just feel so strongly about that. I've, I've saw over regulation in business. I've never seen it like I've been with a governor. And and that's the real threat. I mean, the way the way we get more efficient federal government is we get the government back in a lane and we either stop doing stuff or we delegate it back out to the states where it belongs. And it's okay if 50 states, we have 50 different platforms of innovation. That's an okay thing for our country. Innovation, not regulation, is how we're gonna win going forward. And selling energy to our friends and allies versus buying it for adversaries. That's how we're gonna win. These are just simple common sense things that I think every business leader that's listening to your show understands.